Today we're talking about Christmas cactus and transferring a Christmas cactus from soil to hydroponics. I have a Christmas cactus here. This guy is struggling. It's, it's, uh, the soil is compacted down deep inside the pot. It's pulled away from the side of the pot. The soil is really exhausted. And in fact, if I pull it out, there's really not much left. How many of you have plants like this at home? And the only thing that you can do with this, with soil is, knock this soil off, put, put it in new soil, and put it back in the pot again, but you're gonna have the same problem all over. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna transfer this guy from this soil into a hydroponic system. It's gonna be cleaner, easier to grow, and we're gonna give this plant new life. This is what we want to have happen. I want to show you a Christmas cactus that I've had in a in growing in a hydroponic system for a couple of years. And look at the roots on this thing. Uh, this is a really hardy plant. When you have a strong root system like this, you have a really sturdy plant that is very durable. So this is what we want to do with our Christmas cactus, uh, rather than have a struggle in the soil where it has no roots whatsoever. Okay, so here we are at the potting bench, our temporary potting bench, and we're going to uh, remove the soil from the plant. So as you can see, half of this plant has already died in here, and so the first thing we're going to do is remove that. Now, what you can do here is take a sharp knife and just make a clean, sharp cut. We're going to continue to remove some of the old roots, and we're really aggressive here in getting rid of all of this old stuff because this plant's going to grow new roots to begin with anyhow. So there we are. Got most of the soil removed, and notice we're doing this on a row tray so that we don't clog up the sink because you can do all of this in your kitchen, in your sink, or especially if you live in an apartment or a condominium. You can do all of this. You don't need to have a potting shed and all of that. So now we've removed all the soil. Let's go to soil water. Okay, here we are at the sink and we have lukewarm water. And so now we're gonna rinse the soil off the leaves or off the roots. And since there's not many roots left, it isn't gonna take much to get the soil removed from here. And as you can see, we're aggressive here because what we're counting on is entirely new root growth from this plant, which we will get. And what we want to do here is get as much of this soil off as we can because this is going to be a uh, re reconstruction project where we don't want to have any soil in there. After all of that cutting, we still have the vibrant roots here uh, that's going to give the plant a start as it gets going in its new pot. Okay, I just want to show you, this is all of the stuff that we removed, all that soil, and here's the new roots. We're going to give this plant a new fresh start. The hydroponic planter that we chose for this is going to be a five inch planter. And you can see that's a little bit smaller than the existing pot. And I like that because we want to have a good uh, wet dry cycle here. And we like to keep things a little bit snug in the pot. So now we're ready to start our transplant. And I just want to point out here that uh, I like to soak the pebbles in a KLN solution to give the roots a boost uh, before I transplant. But you always want to have saturated pebbles when you transplant. So to start with, I've uh, filled the bottom of the culture pot with pebbles just up to the dome on the bottom. We're going to plant this deep for stability. Uh, so here we go. Let's transplant. So we insert the plant into the culture pot and push it right down on the dome. Notice how deep we're planting this thing. All right, let's add pebbles. We're just adding pebbles evenly around the pot. Now we fill the pot with the uh, with like a pebbles and now I just want to show you we use a chopstick to push the pebbles down. And we're aggressive here again too because we want to have a good stable plant and you want no air gaps in there. So we push the pebbles all the way down to the bottom of the pot. going to be adding a few more pebbles all the way up to the top. Pushing them down in the pot so there's no air gaps. And there you are. Now we're at the sink and after the plant has been potted, we're just running water through the pebbles to rinse everything through. We kind of wash the plant a little bit too. 
All right, the plant has been washed through. Now all we gotta do is insert the water gauge in the slot in the side of the pot. There's our new Christmas cactus in his new home in clean Lekka pebbles. The soil is gone. Now, as you saw when we uh, soil washed this, we were really aggressive and removed a lot of roots. And that's not a problem because this plant is going to grow new roots anyhow. And we wanted to get rid of all of that old stuff with the soil um, hanging around the roots and all of that so we could start off fresh. Now, if you know anything about me when I'm transplanting, I always use a heat map because warm temperatures is what encourages new root growth. So I suggest putting your plants on a heat map uh, while they are recovering. It's going to take this plant about 10 weeks to 12 weeks uh, to grow an uh, a new root system. And after that, it needs a little tender loving care during that period. But after that, it's going to be a strong, sturdy plant. Okay, plant care for my new transplant. So I pour water over the pebbles. And this is water with a KLN solution. And I pour it over the pebbles until the water gauge moves and comes up to maybe a quarter. And that's it. That's all the water I give it. Now, it's going to take probably two or three weeks for the plant to use up all that water, and then I'll rewater it again. The important thing here is I allow enough time for the plant to dry out totally, completely, before I water it again. Remember, those new roots need air as much as they need water to grow. And the final tip here is that I like to use a KLN rooting solution. No nutrients at this point because nutrients can actually be harmful to new roots. New, growing new roots is job number one here and I use KLN to grow new roots. So that is what I add to the water every time I water the plant. Okay, one final tip on transferring uh, Christmas cactus from soil to hydroponics that when you do it, stick with plants that are this size. I get a lot of people ask questions about they have a huge Christmas cactus that their mother had for 20 years and now they have it and they want to put it in hydroculture or put it in the pebbles because it's cleaner and easier to grow and all of that stuff. Um, my advice is don't do it. Large plants uh, are more difficult to transfer, especially when you interrupt the roots like this. You can see they have thin roots, Christmas cactus, and so the roots get damaged. Inevitably, they get damaged when you remove the soil. So. Larger plants, when you interrupt the roots like that, they really do take a hit. And if you, so if you have a Christmas cactus that's any larger than this, I don't recommend transferring it over to soil. Now, on the other hand, uh, I do have other videos on how to propagate Christmas cactus. So you can take cuttings from something like this and grow your own little plants. And these guys are pretty easy to grow. Uh, just give them some cool temperatures in the winter and they'll flower one time, probably two times uh, throughout the winter. So that's it on Christmas cactus. Good growing.